well. Why so mad? Why so mad? Do oh, I zoomed in. Do you want a kiss? Do you want a moi? I want fucking macaroni, that's what I want. <laughs> I want fucking macaroni. Yeah, okay. okay. Why do you say, yeah, okay, like you don't believe me? We should probably stop playing merch cakes while we, since we're starting, because I'm- Why the fuck are you playing a mobile game while I am streaming you again? I, I was doing it before, I was like, waiting for you to start, so I was just like, I'll play a game for a little bit, and then... You threw me off, bro. Oh yeah, didn't I die at the end, so like, all of these doors are, are like... Locked. Well, not this room. Oh yeah, the the thing where she's like, uh, this must have been kids here too. I played with dolls like this when I was a child. It really takes me back. And then she like reads this uh, creepy ass poem thing. And then she looks at the doll again and goes, Disgusting! I wouldn't touch that with a ten-foot pole! <laughs> Honestly... She's... she's got a point. She does. It better be interesting this time. It better be, or I'm gonna freaking... Like... Rant really a lot. Really a lot. I mean, we're back in Silent Hill, and this is oh, like so you, you the, didn't even the moment we've all introduced been for. that I have a new PNG. I did. To see how it is. I did before you were unmuted. Okay, oh, bitch. Okay. Oh my God, lag. I want everyone to know that Z is a mean viper in Valorant. You guys miss out on her amazing Viper skills and seeing her screen go everywhere as she uh, panically tries to kill somebody. No, it's called aiming. <laughs> I keep thinking that when you shot to the left for a second and back at the enemy, it's scared me more than anything else. Because I thought I was taking damage from that direction, so I went to shoot that guy. I have my sensitivity high, so I can make <laughs> split decisions like that. If your sensitivity is not that high for an FPS... It's funny when you're watching it, but when you're doing it, it's not funny. But when you're watching it, it is. I also got jump scared, like, ten different times. This is the guy who wrote that sick diary. Well, that's fun. It's so quiet. Yeah, because there's no music. That's the thing with these games. Unless, like, a specific thing happens, there's no music to accompany it. Because why would there be? You don't need music all the time. <sighs> that was someone's ringer. On. Yeah, that's my fault. I'm sorry. That's why I'm dying. Let's stop dying, shall we? I don't even remember. Like, I remember we explored a little bit, and then I was like, I guess we should stop. Cause it was, like, yeah, because I died. Yeah. What did you die to? Uh, a basic enemy, I think. And then uh, a guy dragged us off, because that was the first time we died normally. <sighs> Like, just to a thing, rather than, like, getting hit by a train, or... Getting, uh, uh, grabbed and pulled into a pool of water. Oh, right, the elevator works. Uh... Probably because the doors to the stairwell aren't working, but we're not gonna go do- we're not gonna get off of this floor yet. I need to turn my fan on real fast. 
The stairwell door is locked, but we were able to go into the uh, first floor hall down here. And that's when we died, because uh, nurses. The nurses that breathe heavily. <laughs> Hope in the next Silent Hill game that comes out that instead of having like a hospital, they have like a maid cafe. A bunch of maids, zombie maids come at you. Why? The, you understand that the most recent thing that's been announced that's Silent Hill related is Silent Hill If, I think is what it was going to be called. We don't have any information really on that yet. And then a Silent Hill 2 remake by Bloober. Uh, it should be made soon. Huh? It needs to be made. Oh my god, there are so many! Ah! Where's this kid too much your attention? your inventory! Pull out your gun! I have no extra bullets if this actually- wait, hold on! Try not to die! Okay, there's only one left. Switching back to the katana. Cool. Was there really nothing in here but an ampule? It was fun, though. So fun. Very worth it, for sure. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Ah. They look like park benches. Why are they inside a hospital? You realize this is the exact same, like, map. This doesn't have heavy breathing in it, thank fuck. Ah, shit. That wall. There are a lot of things stuck in the wall. A cookie, a toothbrush, a spoon, a Christmas card, a clock. Whoever it was probably used glue, but why do this in the first place? This is a beetle. A key! There's a key glued a key. to the wall. I'd love to take it with me, but it's really stuck tight. I can't even pull it off. Just put the katana between it and the wall. Problem solved. Well, I tried. The organization has me shut up in here. They mean to break my will, to make me forget about all that. But I'll stay sane even if they throw me in here with lunatics. How about if I stick this to the wall? That would be worthless. You can peel it off, can't you? With that junk those nasty wenches won't stop using. If a thing has no meaning, there's no reason for it to exist at all. Just as you exist for me. But why haven't you taken my doll with you? Ah, my gift must have embarrassed you. How cute you are, Heather! Stanley Coleman. The heck is Stanley again? Uh, he's like a patient here. I don't think he's a character we've interacted with in the series. If he has, I don't remember. This elevator don't work. Just be sure I've checked every other door here. Yes. So she's marked that on her map as a thing that we need to do. It's time to go to the next floor. Let's go! Explore! Wow! 
I love walking in an, an environment that looked the same as the last few ones. I love what I... Wow. Uh, basement? Nope. Second Andrew floor. said, you thought? I'm sorry for the sniffing. I want a mighty snip. A mighty sneeze. I didn't even sneeze. I mean, I sneezed earlier, but... A powerful sniffle. What's your you two? That ah, shit, there's another one. I have no idea what I just picked up. Perfume. Didn't she pick up a screwdriver at some point? Um, we have nail polish remover and I mean, like few. earlier. Oh, earlier? Yeah, we used that to uh, wedge a drawer open. You know. Yeah, why didn't we keep it for other doors and drawers? We do that. Screwdrivers, especially the flathead ones, are the, like the most useful tool in situations like these. Yeah, well, I wouldn't. I never would have pegged her as being like smart. Did you just call Cheryl an idiot? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> You may not have re realized your own true feelings, but you sense them unconsciously, and so you're trying to get closer to me. That's a virtue, the path to paradise. If the door's locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates. Doctor... I've forgotten his name. Anyway, that quack has a posted. He should be here, too. I mean, four numbers would've been good enough, but he kept on going. Isn't it a shame I'm not there? Aren't you irritated? I long for you, but you're so cruel. Still, I want you, Heather. Uh, I don't think Heather would uh, read uh, the note in that way. Uh, um, I don't know about that. That was that scared me a lot. Uh, this pure eyes feel like a classy breeze. You're also gaming and I'm always looking at you. You make meek, beautiful, unspoiled, and unless I'm so sad, I suffer and so happy it hurts. I want to hurt you and destroy myself. What would you think if you knew how I felt? Would you simply smile and not say a word? Even curses from your mouth would be as beautiful as pearls. I voice my left hand on your face as though we were to kiss, and then I suddenly shove my thumb deep into your eye socket, abruptly, decisively, like drilling a hole. <laughs> what would it feel like? Like jelly? Trembling with ecstasy, I obscenely mix it around and around. I must taste the warmth of your blood. How would you scream? Would you shriek? It hurts, it hurts, as the cinema red tears uh, stream from your crushed eye. You can't even know the maddening hunger I've felt in the midst of our kisses. So many that I, of them I've lost con fuck count. As though drinking in your cries, I bring my hopes to fruition, biting your tongue, shredding it, biting at your lips as if tasting your lipstick. This guy's- Oh, what euphoric heights I would reach, having my desires fulfilled like a greedy, gluttonous cur. I long, too, for your cherry-tinted cheeks, tasty enough to bewitch my tongue. I would surely be healed, and would cry like a child. And how tender is your ear? It brushes against my cheek. I want to creep up to my I want it to creep up to my lips so I can seek my teeth into its flesh. Your left ear, always hearing words whispered sweet as pie. I want to hear my true feelings. I never lied, no, but I did have my secrets. 
Ah, uh, but what must you think of me? Do you hate me? Are you afraid? As though inviting you to the agony at the plague's end, if you wish, you could destroy me. I wouldn't care. As you wish, you may destroy me. I wouldn't care. Um. Um. No, not this again. It's a different passcode, too, I'll bet. I don't like the- I don't like that. Um. It's a no for me, Chief. That's the one that the... The note said that the doctor had. Yeah. Is there like a doctor's room somewhere? Maybe. Let's see if there's a third floor. Oh. I see how it is. I am gonna mute for a little bit, but I'll be back. Okay! It's a little comedic, comedic to see her running around with a with katana. With a katana, yeah, it is. I'll bet I use nail polish remover. Get that key unstuck. That was a little weird. I did it just like, was it like pretending like she was using it? No, I just didn't press the button. <laughs> I forget yeah, that you there's... were pretending it, like she was using it. I thought it would auto do it on it. So, oh hello, some enemies have respawned in here. I ain't afraid of you. Well, I am if the game lags. Yeah, it has started to check. What I fucking thought. You don't like stab her again? No, she's dead. I don't hear breathing elsewhere because they're pretty dang loud, all things considered. Um, I would probably want to save again, though. Maybe. Oh! I might. It's probably in the doctor's lounge. Probably, yeah. Yeah. I wanna kinda save those uh, health drinks. Wait. Right, okay. Well, we can either try the third floor or the basement. Just check the third floor first. Why did that sound play? Did you have to do that? What sound? Did you not hear that bang? No, I didn't. Bruh, oh. She stopped making comments about that. Yeah, I guess she has. <laughs> I guess her headache finally went away, so she's like, oh, I guess it wasn't the seal thing. Oh, it's another- oh, wait. They're, like, slowly, progressively standing up. Well, that's awful. Why'd you have to point that out? What else do I picked I up started. another thing. This house, uh... Was it a battery? Ah, it was. It was battery for my stun gun. I wonder if I should be using that. Oh, it's, like, very short range. Probably fine. I have to turn the fan off now, because now I'm cold. No, read the fucking thing. <laughs> huh. 
Heather, my most sacred lover, I'm always watching you. No matter where you are or what you may be doing, I have never lost sight of you. I know you feel intensely lonely, yet with a single key to this door, those feelings won't stand in the way any longer. We haven't been able to see each other for so long. Be patient. It's just a little longer. I'll be patient too, even though I long to hold you in these hands of mine. The key is behind the shelves in the underground garage. Why there? Ask that idiot doctor. There's not a single person here who's right in the head. Not just in this hospital. I mean in all of Silent Hill. Except me. Okay, uh, that was... That guy probably isn't reading the room and that him saying that kind of just implicates him as being as crazy as everyone else. Oh, hey. I can now get onto the third floor. That's neat. I don't want to go uh, in the elevator. I just wanted to have the elevator see if it worked. That's all. All right, can't go in that way. Oh, that's a door. It's broken! It's a fake door. Can you open something real fast on the mute? You kind of already started to open it, and it kind of scared me. Punishment for brutality toward patient. 12 hours confinement. I was- I didn't station. start opening it. I just grabbed the bag. It was so loud, it spooked me! Dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. There's something handwritten on top of the typewritten sending. God, what the fuck?! <laughs> the trick is to not leave any marks. And one other thing. This looks like this was written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she had been fired. I hate you! <laughs> Go away! <laughs> no, I don't want the cat in here. The bastard jump scared me. Shit, man. That was surprisingly effective. Seems like you only need one charge, and then you just step Kick on the enemy. Yeah. Am I chewing too loudly? A little. Flowing freely, your ebony hair like the night sky, scattering fragrance. My heart, clamoring in my chest like a storm. You trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a feast when you smile. My thoughts disturbed. My breath, like opium, it drives me mad. Like copium. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like what this guy has. A great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't have let this place get to me. Should never have gone crazy. But it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give you to you is the same as what I give to me. Ugh. I hate it. In case you like me not purposely jump scaring you. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? I didn't- what do you mean? I didn't do much. I just was standing there with laundry. Oh my god, this has a passcode too. Are you fucking serious? Yes. We love passcodes. Or I guess- I love passcodes. Yeah. You are- you are really, uh, crunching. I'm sorry. I also like the rooftop. It makes me want to fly. You too? Let me turn something on my mic setting. If my mic is really far away...
Can you still hear it? Ah! I'm gonna get cornered by these assholes if I'm not careful. Okay, there we go. What? A little bit. Holy shit! I'll try to chew less frequently and quieter. I'm just really freaking hungry. Bro! Can you not just avoid these guys? I mean, I guess I could try, but I kind of want to kill them. Just a little bit. Did the stun not gun not work on them? Not like especially. What is I their don't think. Stun? They're tall. They've got long arms and weird. What that is. Are they wearing sailor uniforms? I don't know, but I think I killed them. They're wearing sailor school uniforms. Okay. Now I can actually fucking look around. Are you serious? Is there literally nothing to this? <sighs> May have to come back here later? Maybe, probably. Submachine gun bullets? I'm sorry, what? We did have that machine gun. Yeah, when we were dreaming. Oh my god, they go away. The journal's gone. Probably because they didn't want you to think that you found a new one when it was just an old one. Maybe, yeah, probably. So basement. That's kinda all that's kinda all we can do. That! That noise. I hate that noise. Stop making that noise. I don't I dislike it. Whoa. I didn't hear it because I was chewing. Basement. After the basement adventure, do you, can we go to the doctor lounge? Hmm. Oh man, they were proud. They were proud of that imagery. <laughs> There's a bunch of bullets. I mean, Wheelchair. Shell casings! Holy shit. Mm, that's a lot of bullets are probably in the wall. Ah, oh, man. You serious? I need a tool? Well, give me this. I deserve it. Oh, it- you probably need some sort of, like, leverage thing. Wait, a blood trail continues into the elevator. Part of me wants to peek in, but then it's a little creepy, too. I don't think I can call the elevator from here. Why not? Just take a little peek. It's Just probably take I would look. Of course you would. <laughs> okay, items. We have perfume. <laughs> These. <laughs> Oh, I have an idea! The Shakespeare anthologies have the password because the doctor loves Shakespearean plays. 
And that's why... Hmm. Yeah, I don't have, like, an item. I need an item for this. Maybe the perfume will shrink, Cheryl. I don't really want to put the perfume on. It says this stuff smells a little strange, which makes me suspicious of it. So, that wasn't there before. It's not. Oh, um, there's a thing in the storeroom. We got the key, uh, Can you check the, the doctor's, doctor's lounge. That's what you want to check. Yeah, it's on this floor. That because he said the doctor came up with some weird ass code. Food only, do not store drugs. There's nothing of interest on top of the desk. Are you sure about that? And then there's these. A medical record or something, it's for this Leonard guy. Room S12. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. The other one is for Stanley Coleman. This is the guy who wrote that sick diary. Uh, maybe there's something else in here. Oh, there's stuff written on the right board, but none of it really matters to me. Are you sure about that? Can you read the map again? Just go through the floors. Like, look between them. Slowly, though, so I can... Those mm -hmm. are the only two. So we need a code right now. Yeah. There are it's different codes for different doors. The one for the third floor is in the basement behind that shelf, but I can't reach that. So the other one is is the one with the note in front of it? Yes, which I assume is supposed to be the hint for the puzzle. However, it's, um, you know how it is. Go ahead and head back to the door, because I want to... Yeah, I'm heading to it right now. If it's really as stupid as I think it is. What do you mean? This is a hard puzzle. Unless this is I the think hint. I think this is supposed to be the hint for this one. It, I mean, we because he because the diary said he could have stuck with only four numbers, but he had to go farther. Okay, um, give me a sec. I'm gonna write a few things down on my phone. I swear on you. Next. Um, next. Oh, 
hang next. Keep going. Keep going. Nice. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, just finish the note now. I have some ideas. Is this book, is the, can you look, do we have it in our inventory or? What? The book, the, what he said about it. No. And it despawned, so. Okay. I think I can still. Oh, let's go through it again, but this time I'm going to talk through my thought process. Okay. What I was thinking is, maybe it has to do with the number of body parts listed. Maybe. But I'm not completely sure if it's like ones that are left until the end, or just in general. Because if we do it like that, it would be two for eyes. Mm. Next would be, go to the next one. That one doesn't have one. That one doesn't have one either. That one has mouth. Which would be one. Mm -hmm. And then this is where I was unsure because he mentions left hand and thumb. Does that matter to the code? Because if so, is it counting? The fingers or counting both hands? Yeah. Because if it's the fingers, then it would be five. And if it's just the hand, it would be one. So I'm going to guess it's five. And it's eye socket another one being one? Maybe. This, this feels like hand, heart, head, throat, hand, arm, brain. Fucking that one puzzle. You didn't play Tormented Souls, but or you didn't watch me play that game, but there was a puzzle that was very similar like yes, this. Yes, I know. I know. I saw it. fucking poem, and I'm like, what is the combo, huh? I, I like how you it. knew immediately, because I'm betting, like, every other human being they were announcing, like, what they thought it was by saying hand, heart, throat, stomach, hand, <laughs> whatever. Keep going, though. Mm. And then the other one I wonder is does blood count as one or is because it's not a body part does it not count? Yeah, probably not. And then since we've already done mouth and eye, do we count it again when we she's I guess it doesn't say Maybe mouth. every time a body part is brought up that counts and however many are mentioned is the number. So maybe well, no, because that's it's a lot of than... ones, yeah. Um, just we'll just try it this way. I mean, if it's wrong, we can just we know that that's not the right way of thinking. Mm -hmm. We could go to the next one. 
That one doesn't necessarily have just a body part, so. Then tongue. That one has tongue. Maybe it's however many body parts are brought up is the number. That's also well, a possibility. But it, that would mean if it's more than four, there would have to be a thousand different body parts brought up. What? The the note said that why couldn't you use why couldn't just, the code be only four digits long? Yeah, but it, so it's longer than four. Yeah, this poem is long enough that I feel like even if you included however many body parts got mentioned in a paragraph, it'd be longer than four. But who knows? We don't know yet. I think we can take that into consideration if the first code doesn't work. Okay, continue. And then... Cheeks. And are, are we assuming that his ones don't count? If they do, then it would be... That would be a really long code, but we'll give it a shot anyway. Yeah. Okay, next. Ear. His lips and his teeth. Yeah, it's not this. This is not- there's no way it's this. What do you- wh what is it not? It's not what we were thinking, because that would be way too long of a code. It would be something like 10 or 12 digits long. So is it the number of body parts brought up per paragraph is the number? That is prob- let's try that. Let's just skip through the whole thing. Cause it- okay, so... Eyes, that would be two, right? Yeah. Unless it's counting it as one, in which then it's one, but I would put that, like, underneath oh, it in Oh, no, it would be one. Yeah, you're right. Let's do- if it's per one's brought up, it would be... One. I mean, I would keep both numbers into consideration just in case, but yeah, it's either one or two. Okay. This doesn't have anything. And both would be zero. Yeah. It's either that these that don't mention anything is zero, or it doesn't count. Yeah. We have no way of knowing yet, though. And then the next one would also be zero. And mouth. It's just one. So they would both be one. So both are versions. Then hand. Uh, I assume face doesn't is not included because that's not necessarily. But would eye organ. socket count? <sighs> Probably, because that would be res that's referring specifically to a body part. It's either three or two, because hand, thumb, and eye socket. Three. And this so is one. Yeah, it, this is either one, zero, or nothing. If the ones that don't mention a body part count, don't count as like. We'll even count it as zero for now, I guess. Yeah. And we'll see the whole code that we have come up with right now, and then we can go back to this one. Oh no, my bit rate! Give me a second. Go down to 4K. Ah! Can you send it to the next one so I can think about it? Well, I, I can't type while also doing the game. When I click off, it, it's... I can't, it, I can't control it. I assume I is the only one here. But then that would just be one. Yeah. 
Okay. And this is like zero, I suppose. Yeah. Then tongue and lips. The question is the same as the eyes one. Does it count as two? Or it probably just counts as lips as one thing. Yeah. Because I was thinking about it, because then we would have to know how many teeth the guy has. <laughs> yeah. Well, the keypad is one through nine, so he definitely has a in the double digits, and I don't feel like that would count as one digit. That would not work, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, that's why I think we can pretty much say that even plural words count as one thing. Yeah, unless it doesn't, that's always still a possibility regarding the eyes bit. Um, so I, I don't- if eyes and lips don't count, I don't think teeth- if teeth doesn't count, I don't think eyes and lips would count, because then it would be too- mm -hmm. it would be impossible to solve. Mm -hmm. Without making a, la a leap in logic. Mm -hmm. This is nothing. And cheeks, which I assume is to be seen as one. Then tongue, and tongue again, which is two. Next. Ear, cheek, cheek, lips, teeth, four. Continue. Ear, one. Continue. And nothing. Yeah. And then nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna just assume that the zeros don't count because of how many there are. Yeah, which means it's... It's one, one, three, one, Two, two, four, one. I do this with my mouse. Two, two, four, one. Okay, now let's try it if we count blood as one. Now oh, it's one, one, three, one, one, two, two, four, one. Okay, so that wasn't it. Because <laughs> I could. The weirdest thing about this is, like, if we count, like, even if we count, like, the duels, dual pieces of, like, the che cheeks are two and eyes are two, but not lips, because lips is always, like, singular, even when referring to both top and bottom. It's like a plural. Or maybe they are supposed to be plural, because that's the thing. I was, like, I was thinking that, and I was like, this might work, but then I realized that other than the one instance in which four different body parts were mentioned, we're not using five through nine at all, which is a very bizarre code, if that's the case. But yeah, that's what I was thinking, which is what I was thinking was wrong or something. Unless you're adding up all the body parts, but I don't think that's it. Honestly, I think we're going on the wrong track here. Yeah. I mean, there might be something we're just missing. Hello, Day Nightfall. The black hole and Fisk. Hello there. <laughs> ah! I, I scream as I consume it. <laughs> How are we doing? How are you doing? You two. 
Go, let me see the... <laughs> she doesn't want to answer. We're stuck on a puzzle. <laughs> oh, I'm doing good, I guess. <laughs> I'm being a peep. That's my answer. I'm not gonna look up this puzzle because this is like the hardest puzzle since the book puzzle, so I actually think if we figure this out on our own, even if we get like... Even if the finale for it is like, man, that was really fucking stupid, it'll at least be a greater sense of accomplishment. So, are we sure there's not a note in any of the doctor's rooms? Other than those two patient's notes, no. There is only uh, items to pick up and then those diary entries, which have vanished upon returning to these rooms, so. Okay. This is literally the only thing. This is like the only thing we have in lieu of a hint. Unless it's the Stanley Coleman thing. We could still just try that, I guess. You mean... The code that's in the first floor that's only four digits long, right? What was it? The rooms? Uh, the numbers to the rooms that they're in? Yeah, it's like 2407. Which there's no zero, so it doesn't work. True. So, eyes... We assume as two in this case? Yeah. You don't have to wait that long. And nothing, nothing. Mouth. Be one. Mm -hmm. Then hand. I don't think the fingers count because it's not specifically mentioning the fingers still. Which means this well, I, Then in that case, would thumb even count? Because we already have the hand. Is it just the one hand? I think maybe because the thumb is explicitly mentioned. But then if you do the eye socket, would it's it, it like some sort of math? <laughs> Gosh, I hope not. I think we can still assume this one's three. So it'd be two, one, three? Yeah, two, one, three. And then we still don't know if blood counts, so it's either one or nothing in this regard. We'll try it with nothing, since I don't think blood really counts as a thing. And then I. Well, that's what I don't... I'm not understanding, because it's the same eye that was mentioned earlier. Do you think maybe it doesn't get included, then? Well, that's why I'm worried. I don't think the eye socket gets included, because it's the same eye from the first one, if that's what they're doing. Okay. I'm not entirely sure of that, but... <laughs> and then this is nothing. And then tongue, lips. Now the question is, is do we follow the same rule as his eyes with lips or do we keep it singular? Because that means that this is either two or three. I really don't think this is the right track. Hmm. You should just try everything until you get it. I mean, I thought maybe it was like... Colors, but colors are mentioned so infrequently that there's, that's, there's no way in hell. I just thought it was interesting how they're like, Oh yeah, blue eyes, and then cinnabar red tears. But, like, I think a color is only really specifically mentioned, like, three times. Unless you count pearls as being referred to as a color rather than as an object. I really feel like we're missing something. Uh, the problem is, even... looking it up risks 
the the guy just explaining the puzzle. This puts his all in the crunch. I'm thinking. I have to eat to think. <laughs> Keep clicking through it. That is so loud. I'll stop after this one. I'm looking at a hint and oh my god this hint is makes this this puzzle awful. The memo on huh? the wall beside the door is the clue and it's very jarring. For the purposes of explanation I'll only keep the important parts of the poem in this section. The poem indicates where the numbers should be pressed by where the author is touching Heather's face. Oh! It's directional. Yeah. That wasn't just a hint. That was like telling you because go back to it. Start it. Well, I guess they're not touching right there. And he's not touching there. It starts here. The, I guess the quote-unquote hint is the I am looking at you and you are looking at me. Which means it's like wherever he touches her that's like facing us. Nose is like five. How in the fuck? I mean... Would it be nine... Three. Wait. Face. Shove my thumb into your eye socket. Wouldn't that be... One? Oh, yeah, that's the left hand. Sorry, wrong. Taking yeah. the wrong hand. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so it would be seven. One. Wait, where'd you get seven? If he's touching her face that way. Okay. So seven one. I don't think this is anything. Well, actually he's mixing it there. So would it be one again? Maybe. Uh, the other thing that I got is that this code is always the same on hard difficulty. Because that's the thing, like, on normal, the code is random for some puzzles. But I think on hard difficulty, the code is always the same, and on easy difficulty, the code is always the same. Or the puzzle just doesn't fucking exist, as we've learned with the uh, chlorine gas one. <laughs> the press said I couldn't figure this out. Sorry. I didn't realize that the hint was going to be that huge. That's why I told you not to tell me. I'm sorry I did it again, no! All I wanted to know is that if this was a thing, you just saw it. I'm tapping out, I'm too depressed. No! I'm sorry! Stay, I didn't mean anything by it. You're on your own, Z. No! This is truly so sad. Oh, 
I am beyond sad. Okay, so if it's when he touches, yeah, I, we... I I think we should. If cheek counts as one, it would be seven. One. It would be one again. So seven one one. Eight? This would this would be yeah that one would be eight. Then eight. Cheeks. That's why I thought it was like four or six. Part of your cheek is lined up with your mouth, not really your nose. Oh, fair. So it's either seven or nine. Or it's neither because he doesn't actually do it. He doesn't actually touch it? Yeah. Okay, this is ear. I assume this is three. Because Why three? left ear Can which would be this? would be on his right oh left ear yeah cause his I left hand touches ear. yeah his left hand touches her face which is the right side of her face but her left ear brushes his I don't think it would lips. be it wouldn't be three though because three would be her left eye hmm this two would have to be the space between, and if the cheeks are seven and nine, the other ear would be six. Mm. And it, and then the nose would be five. So it's six. Okay. Then, okay. So, code is... Unless this code is actually only four digits, which that would be fucking awful. You said seven first? One, eight, six? I feel like you skipped some digits. But I wasn't writing the code down because I thought you were. I uh, know, I'm not. <laughs> Always looking at you. Oh, I want to hurt you. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I place my hand on your face and shove my thumb into your eye socket. Left hand. Well, then... So seven. Seven one. one. I don't think that's anything. 
affect anything. Uh, the tongue. Eight. The thing is, yeah, eight. Seven, one, eight. Well, I'm wondering if the kisses also count as one, or does that not? Um, probably not, since he's imagining that. Okay. And not, like, actually just doing the thing that he just, you know? I longed two for your cherry tinted cheeks. I wonder if that just means that that's not included either. That's what I think too. So it's seven one eight ear, which is the left ear, which we think is six, right? Seven one eight six. Unless her forehead counts, then yeah, it's six. But that doesn't seem like it's gonna be enough. Because that's what you put in. Uh. Nope. Maybe, maybe try seven, one, Eight, then eight again, and then maybe do six now. Okay. Mm. So even knowing the code, this or the hint to the code, this is not. <laughs> This is still not okay, easy. maybe seven one eight eight seven nine six. Maybe that. Okay. What? Wait a second. Is it reversed? Unless it's I two ones. It. Maybe it's two ones. Tear stream from your crushed eyes? Wait, I don't think... Wait. I want to try something. Okay. No. I thought maybe it didn't include anything he'd done unless it counted as an injury to her. So him touching her face didn't mean anything, but stabbing her in the eye did, and that the tear counted as four because it would roll down. That was not correct, though. Well... Because he, like, bit her tongue, and then he bites her ear. And I was like, maybe it's the injuries he does to those parts of her face, not just whenever he interacts with that part of her face. That didn't really seem to work. Go back to it. Oh, the poem or the puzzle? The poem. These puzzles, uh, don't seem very fun. <laughs> They're not easy. At least not this one. <laughs> Even though you got a hint, you're still suffering. Yeah. I mean, some of that suffering is because I stopped paying attention. Um, go back <laughs> to the beginning of it. Okay. The next one. Uh, 
in the next one. Yeah, I want to hurt you and destroy myself. I wonder if that's the hint that it's like injury and I'm j I just missed it one or something. I'm gonna just gonna assume the first part is just like not a number. Starts with the eye. Yeah. Shoving a thumb into your eye. I just don't see which area of the- unless the forehead itself is supposed to be two. Yeah, I maybe it's like between the eyes. Because then it would be one. Yeah. But that's the thing, like, ears are level with your eyes. They're also not just level with your eyes. Yeah, they're also- They also go all the way down to your nose. Yeah, this- I- I don't know what numbers are supposed to- <laughs> So, let, let's do one. Mm hmm. We have to go to the next- And I really think this- Is also one? That's what it- Cause he's touching- he's touching the eye more. Yeah. So, one, one. And then I, I- I guess this doesn't mean anything. Yeah. And then kisses, and then bites the tongue and lips, which I assume is still eight, because it's the bottom center of the face. Unless lip- unless tongue is supposed to be five and lips is supposed <laughs> to be eight. It's like that meme where you, they don't have a nose and it's just the face is squished. <laughs> Uh, okay, so five or eight. I guess have both it kept on hand, just in case. It's, fi it's not five or eight, it would, be, it would be eight or five and eight. Okay. I'm not writing this down, by the way. So. Okay, so what was it? It was one, one, eight, or eight, then five? It would be five, then eight, because okay. tongue is inside and... Okay, so one, one... Eight or one one five eight. And this is not an injury, so I don't think this counts. And then uh bite the ear. Left ear. Should be four. Yeah. So one one eight four or one one five eight four. I don't really think that's gonna be it, but... Oh, no, wait, it would be six, right? Not four. Oh, yeah, her left ear. I just don't think he would make a big deal about it if it was only five digits long. Maybe you have to get out every time you try. I think you do. I want you to try something. What am I trying? Maybe do one more. One. 
three ones, by the way. Then do eight, five, eight. One, seven, nine, six, okay, well that didn't work, try it with just, I don't know. want to know, to understand. I don't know why this is still not working. I'm gonna disappear again, but I don't think that matters since I can't say anything anyway because I can't solve anything. Let's go. Okay. Did you look it up? Um, not fully, but I, I kind of get how it's solved. Okay. So, hello, Dave. Them in the eye. Uh huh. That's one, right? Yeah. Go to the next one. That one doesn't count. You're right about the tears thing. So that's actually four. Yes, but go to the next one. Wait. Hello, red cat and when, the goblins. When the last one it said something about drinking the cries. That's um supposed to be him licking the tears. Blood tears. Oh. His tongue touches form, which is the right ear. Yeah. And then the biting the tongue. Is the eight, like we thought. Mm hmm So so far it's one four four eight? It's just one four eight. One four eight. And then the cheeks, it's like You're not sure. It's either seven or nine. Oh. So one four eight seven or one four eight nine. Yeah. And then the ear we know is six. six. Okay. Eight, seven, six. But actually, the one doesn't count. Wait, what? Really? Yeah. So, so it's, it's four, eight, seven, six, or four, eight, nine, six. Wow. 
<laughs> well, there goes... 30 minutes. <laughs> That's how long we were on that. Oh god. I hear you. Where are you? I ain't afraid oh, of you. Like oh my god, this nurse has a gun! Stop that, please. So, um, hooray, we did it. What did you think about that puzzle? I mean, I would have liked to solve it on... Hmm. Yeah, what does it say? What does it say, Heather? It probably says your mom. Background unknown, name age unknown, not admitted patient, found in poor mental state on hospital grounds and temporarily installed in a room for at chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to severed carotid artery was grasping his own kitchen knife in right hand assumed this was cause of next wound, neck wound possible suicide but wound angle suspicious sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation have received no proof or corroboration of event from patient residing in same room have not notified police however for future necessity leave victim's bed and effects intact room m4 okay Oh my god, I'm just at the wrong angle. The start time is my key. What? I'm sorry, what? The start time is my key. Huh? We'll probably figure it out before we leave home. Yeah. It's too I'm soon just, to say. Like, I really wanted to solve that, but it's like... I don't think it was... The way they raced it made it feel like it was longer than four digits. Yeah. That's kind of unfortunate, because if it weren't for the hand-eye part... That would have been a really cool puzzle to solve, because it's like you're literally thrown off the entire time, because you're thinking that even if you figure out the face thing on your own, that I is one, which is tr correct, but, um, it's not part of the code, which is like kind of the most annoying part. That the it does address and establish that yes, I is one, and he interacts with the I, which makes you think it, one is part of the code, but it's not. Literally, the rest of it was worked though. I think it may be a translation thing though. There's it's a there's whatever. a there's a huge possibility that it's a translation thing. But, the puzzles yeah. were better in two. Mm. I think the puzzles in one so far have been better than the puzzles in this game. I don't even remember the puzzles in one. Because <laughs> uh, I think they were they were supposed. I think they were really easy. That's why I don't remember them. Yeah, the piano puzzle was probably what would be considered one of the more challenging ones, and that's still figured out pretty easily. Because you yeah, could just, didn't even... you didn't even have time to f math it in your brain. I was like, oh, I got it. <laughs> and you were like, Johnny the fuck. I'm the puzzle solver. <laughs> what are you doing over here solving puzzles? 
It was so sad. Yeah. Two definitely had some really good puzzles. I don't think... Unless I'm insane and do not remember, I've watched so many speedruns, I don't think there are many, if any, puzzles in 4. Like, I think, there, I think there's still the logical, like, pick up thing, pick up other thing, combine thing to make thing to do thing puzzles, but, like... I don't like those. Yeah. Riddle puzzles, however, it's, like, nah. There was a tattooed guy on that rumpled bed. Not anymore, though. An alarm clock and filthy bag are his. Ah, but don't I misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him. Though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own? On my chest, since I can't cut it open to show you my heart. I love Heather. No, something a bit more forceful. I love Heather isn't enough for what I feel. What tender emotion this image brings. Again, I... I definitely feel the energy. <laughs> I didn't like that. Shut up. I thought it was something in my room. I was like, what's that noise? Yes. Fucking hell. Wait. Ooh. What? Go back to the clock. It's for that puzzle. Wait, did you get through the nightmare? It's 5... 47? Yeah, that yes, hurts. Yes, we did. Yeah. yeah. We look it up. Let's yeah, see. we did have to look it up. Because even if we solved it on our own, we would have been wrong because I was not part of the puzzle. Even though I is one and he stabs her in the eye... No, it starts at four, which is when the when he licks the blood off her cheek. So it, I guess it's only when his tongue and teeth interact with the thing was how the code worked. Because other than the hand stabbing her, other than the thumb stabbing her in the eye, he licks her cheek, he bites her tongue, and then he licks, or like he he bites her tongue, he licks her cheek, and then he bites her What's ear. That? Remember the the dude said the t start time is my key, key or whatever. Yeah. It's literally this is the key to that. But we don't know what that even so oh. The briefcase on the bed. Oh. We do know what it says. Cause it's right there. The pillow is stained and sticky with blood. Is this from the tattooed guy? I've got a bad feeling. Imagine being related to Tattoo Guy. Yeah. Eh, that room wasn't necessarily, like, bad. Wait, <laughs> hold on. Oh, five. Fuck! Forty-seven? Yeah, try 48. Okay. I guess that was not it. It's definitely... It wouldn't be 49. It wasn't close enough for 49. Unless it's 45. It's not 645. Wait. Uh, international time thing. What is 6 p.m.? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It would not be 6, it's 5, because... What's 5 p.m.? Like... 18. Uh, yeah, it's 18. Okay. No. It's 17. Ah, nice. 5 p.m. would be 17. Whew. I don't so know what I picked up. So we just couldn't figure it out immediately because we're American. <laughs> I don't think it was a supply. It's a camera. Uh, 
I know where we use this. But we're gonna look at these other rooms first. <laughs> Open your inventory and heal! You know what? Nah, I'll just use this. Well, that was a triple stagger. Epic. This katana is so nice. <laughs> Where the fuck was this in Silent Hill 2? <laughs> it's in Silent Hill 2 because we were so amazing. I definitely am so far holding the opinion that 2 is probably going to be the best one. Also, those TVs are on? No, they just have a weird reflective property. <laughs> It's the sun. Oh. Lock is broken. Oh god, lag. Um, we've checked every single room then. Uh, I guess time to go back to the basement. Yeah. Maybe we use the camera on that shelf. Yeah, that's why I said I know where we use this. Why would that do anything? Because we can't, um... Oh, Jesus. I hate their breathing. Where the fuck are you? I'm gonna kill you. Oh, God, it has a gun! Oh, God, there's more! Holy shit, that turnaround! Gross, I can, like, find more people. Kind of sounds like a train. <laughs> the, the breathing. <laughs> it sounds like a train. breathing. <laughs> you thought it was their bones or a train. <laughs> I didn't think it was breathing either. I thought it was at like their foot movements or some dumb shit. It's got a weird effect on it, but I I always was like, ugh, I don't like the breathing. I don't like the breathing. Probably because I, I I've heard that sound effect used before in another game. <laughs> But yeah, it's literally... <sighs> but like, with a weird effect put on it. Discord did not want you to yeah, no, do that. <laughs> so you took a deep breath, and then you went completely silent. <laughs> and that's how it gets clipped out of context. <laughs> this is true. That camera sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry. The fucking... Oh. Well, at least this one's easy. 8912. That's for the third floor. No freaky weird puzzle. Um. How are we gonna get out of this hospital? <laughs> yeah, I wanna get to, uh. I wanna get to the later game stuff. Stop doing that. I know it's like random or whatever, but I, it's just a I, stop. I don't like it. Cease. No. What was it? It might just be something. It, what was it again? Eight nine one two. Nice. Heavy breathing.
Because there's some stuff, because this is literally just reused from two. Which is that whole, like, weight of the, um, this game was in development at, like, almost, the, not even before two was done. Look at those titties! <laughs> Teaching Despair, Hope House. Do y'all see him? Where? On the magazine! Those are some hefty badonkers. I can't see. <laughs> Fisk, go sit down. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I didn't say that chat did. I'm just appreciating art. <laughs> A sardine can't even get close to those boobs. Okay. So here's, um, here's an important thing to mention about this. Um... Once again, similarly to 3, 4 was already in development by this point. Uh, however, there are some things that were changed. Um, Hope House is a location in Silent Hill. However, in Silent Hill 4, it is referred to as Wish House because Hope House is an actual orphanage that exists in the world. Uh, so. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> So it got, uh, it got changed to Wish House. Because it's, it's at, from my knowledge, they actually do a lot of good. Yeah. So it looks kind of bad on them. Mm. Hope House, or Wish House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill. But behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. Ah! <laughs> Silent Hill Smile Support Society. What? <laughs> it's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, who lives near Hope House, had this to say. Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sound of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In you fact- You didn't call the police? <laughs> you could have at least filed a noise complaint. That would definitely count as a noise complaint if it was at night time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, this guy, he's just, uh, police, nah. <laughs> in fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower, which appears to be part of their facilities. Actually, a thing for Silent Hill 4, this exact article appears just Wish House instead of Hope House. Uh, so. Since Hope Houses were, like, a thing for women's suffrage in America. Yeah. There was a bunch of women who wanted to... Speaking of, by the way, also, that suspicious-looking round concrete tower, that's a dungeon in Silent Hill 4, and it's one of the worst dungeons in that fucking game, because it has one of the worst fucking logic puzzles on the planet. I'm excited. Yeah. Hmm. Unfortunately, hello, Jumpy. <laughs> Unfortunately, hello, Jumpy. <laughs> Sorry, I was reading a thing. How's it going? Uh, We finally got another puzzle that was as difficult as the book puzzle, and I almost ruined it, but then we had to look up the answer anyway, <laughs> because no amount of logicking would have gotten us the answer, I don't think. Yeah, the the Hope House, like, I was just confirming, in America, it's, like, for women to get away from abusive, because it's all over the United States now. We even have some, like, right near where we live. Oh, nice. Awesome. And, uh, for, again, adopted kids, they also take care of the elderly. It's yeah, a charity it's, organization. Yeah. Kind of awkward when a fictional game uses the same name as, like, an actually legit group. 
But if it's a United States thing, it's understandable that at first, when this game came out, uh, that people in Japan would have no fucking clue that was a place that actually existed. Yeah, no, that's- it's a United States thing. But they did change it for four, probably because they got it pointed out pretty aggressively, depending. It was probably not that aggressive, because they don't seem like the type to do that. It's just... For a game that takes place in America. Yeah. Some later research led to, oh, yeah, we probably shouldn't call it that, huh? Charity that's from America that's called the same thing. Mm -hmm. That doesn't look good. Yeah. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, water prison. But it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may be, in fact, a prison or a secret place of worship. Yeah, fucking water prison. It's Ugh. a water prison? It's the place in Silent Hill 2 is literally called water prison. It's this cylinder tower with these hospital bed-like tiny-ass solitary confinement rooms. And the per there's like a door that you go use to go into the center and turn a wheel and the rooms fucking rotate and that is the fuck that's the puzzle of how to it's how the fuck do you navigate that place? <laughs> ah! <laughs> and children were put in those rooms and there was a caretaker guy who sat in that center column and would rotate the rooms around and watch the children from, like, a tiny rectangular window inside the rooms. Like, and do what? Just, yeah, just watch. When did it have to be in rotating rooms? Uh, Why'd you have to build this structure? Because it's torture. That? It's It was supposed to be used as a form of psychological torture. If the children didn't recite their prayers for the cult, or they were bad in other ways, they'd be thrown in that room. Did it, like, spin fast or something? No, it just, because you can rotate the rooms, you could, if, like, even if they got out of the rooms, they couldn't leave the building, because you could just rotate everything in a way where they couldn't have physical access to the stairs. I, they're literally a child, why don't just lock the door? <laughs> this seems needlessly complicated for something that doesn't usually need a giant suspicious concrete structure! <laughs> hey man, the cult was never known as being logical. Did you talk also, to Dahlia Gillespie? <laughs> also, not to mention, at least in what I've read in Japan, that as long as they think child abuse is going on, they can come in. Yeah. And if people were thinking that, like this article here, they could have totally, and technically it takes place in America, and America for sure has that right. In fact, sometimes they abuse that right in the police, mm. in the military, in the, all those, of <laughs> abusing, if kids are being abused. I mean, that's kind of what led to what happened in Waco, Texas. It's exactly the same thing, but instead of random guy and random girl solving it, it was the ATF. They didn't yeah. do a very good job. <laughs> I think it has something to do with, like, it's supposed to be a, a small town, and also not everybody does, like, the extreme levels of research that some developers put into making sure their stuff is, like, semi-accurate. Hence the whole not knowing about Hope House. <laughs> I, I, but I would assume it has something to do with, like, some of the subtext that's written in the books. Like, the cult is kind of fully integrated with the town, so the police wouldn't do anything because they're part of yeah, it, in a sense. Yeah, but that's the police. Yeah. That's not what would take over the case. And then, um... The government would. It would yeah. be the FBI, which is not going to be in- unless the whole country's in on the cult. 
which they're not. <laughs> it's like small town. It's a to- it's expressly it's a- told that they're not. It's a tourist attraction. <laughs> it's foggy. It's got rumors. People die sometimes. There's a cult that sells tourists drugs. <laughs> Literally. White Claudia, I believe, is the flower that they refer to. There's so much keep, weird shit keep in this Keep going. Series. We can talk about this while you're actually playing the game. <laughs> yeah. The cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as The Order. It's a religion mm, yeah. that is deeply interwoven in Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. It's a Schreiber. Hope House. I feel like I've heard that name before. Uh, it's the charity organization across America. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. What you might have that? heard of it. Well, you actually learn about it in American history. So technically every high school graduate or high schooler should know about it. <laughs> I think this is just Whether they a... remember it or not is a different story, but it is taught in schools. Albeit briefly. Oh, another thing to look at. What this? It's jerky. I like jerky. I really wish we could eat the beef jerky. I don't really like it being used as monster bait. Like, it's an interesting concept, but I swear, it only works, like, 40% mm. of the time. Ugh, big leg. Oh, yeah, also, by the way, Vesper, uh, a bright yellow number one and a bright yellow lightning bolt have been offered as the closest thing they that Jumpy has to, uh, oh. To a banana. What? They want a Vesper hello, but they don't have a banana emote. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Your child actually took that seriously? <laughs> My god, that doll's face does not look like it. Like good. Doesn't look good. Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. A world for us alone, more beautiful than this one. And I had been waiting for this day, for today. The day I'd see you. The day you'd save me. Today. Bro Ever. just needs to admit he wanted Watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell. I loved you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my... Homie. My homie? <laughs> the doll is all torn apart. It's pretty sad to look at. Uh, what? I wonder who did it anyway. There's Leonard. Have... <laughs> Whoa! 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 It was silent! Whoa! Whoa. It wasn't immediate! I was a... I was shocked! I was surprised! I was startled! Oh, that one's got a gun. What? Did you make a sound? I'm hurt, cut out. Me? No. See? I don't think she did. I mean, I stopped. And... Yeah, no, so these yeah. enemy designs um, are actually pretty cool. Shut I... the freak up. I'm still talking. Their torso bends in a way that people can't. So it contributes to the not, or I guess the uncanniness of the uh, enemies. Yes. Because that was the thing, like, I remember people would talk about it, like, it, it, the creepiness, uh, the creepy factor of two having very human-like enemies. Um, like, some people like to go into the ideas to, like, the reason why that one mannequin enemy- I'll pick it up in a bit. Um, that one mannequin enemy- actually, I should probably press this button 
so it actually stops playing. It does not stop playing when I do that. You're just gonna have to deal with the phone ringing. Uh, the reason why those mannequin enemies have, uh... Oh god, it's even louder now. The reason why the mannequin enemies in 2 are just, like, two torsos attached, like, two bottom torsos attached at the leg, is implied to be, like, James's inherent, like, sexism, that the mannequin represents a female body, but both sides of it are just... Don't lie to me, Claudia. Her... Yeah. Yeah. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. But it's like, so you don't really know for sure. Kind. Ah, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just I mean, listen to me for a second. That's the best thing about any type of art. Already. You can have one interpretation, and you don't really know what it's, whether it's the right one or listen not. Listen to me already. But it's your interpretation. I'm not Claudia. I'm not Claudia here. My name is Heather. Heather. Who are you? Why are you guys so sad? It's Leonard. I'm sorry. I thought you were my daughter. It's Leonard Wolf. Claudia is your daughter? Claudia killed my dad. I wonder what would happen if I found and killed you. How'd she feel about that? Never. When I find her, I'm... I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words. <laughs> Leonardia. Leonardia. That was his wife's name. Gerald part two. <laughs> she killed my father. Bro. But she's still my daughter. I was going to forgive her if she changed her ways. But Gerald. Too late. I would love to see like a mod of Heather, will you the help game. Me? <laughs> I wonder if in Silent Hill 2 Remake someone Claudia. will do that. Where are you now? Depends on how I'm good sure uh, so. that game actually the is, if people will even fucking the bother. On the, second floor. the door is at the end of the hall on the second floor. I've also heard this voice actor before. Bro, why'd you hang up? Very cash money. It's a so signature seal. You know, that thing that people in Japan have. No, it's... it's a seal on a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> so at the end of the hall on the second floor... Uh, leg! They would make a deal, see if they were greedy. Well, this is Bloober we're talking about. And Konami. I mean, hand in hand. It's not... I don't think I Bloober mean, is greedy, it's just Bloober has a habit of making... <sighs> the thing with the Gerald is one of the only like spin-off things that Silent Hill fans like is the DVD, um, Killer and Survivors. You started looking up his voice because you recognize it too. I don't want to go and say, like, straight up that it's, like, Jubei's voice actor, but it might actually be. It I sounds was really not similar. not listening. Yeah, because we were talking about Gerald. Yeah, I'm, and I was saying that most people wouldn't mind it because, I mean, they're, like... Yeah, no, like, like head. I really hope Sound Hill 2 Remake works, because there are people who are huge fans of it, but it is in the hands of a studio that people have very mixed opinions on. Well, that's the thing. They, they literally have a good design for Pyramid Head that's already in, like, the newer 3D model that people love. Which is the Dead by Daylight Pyramid Head. Yeah. Yeah, he has all outfits for the ones in the games where he 
should not have been there, but that's for making money. The end of the second Leonard Voice did almost nothing else. Huh. How do I This was not a door before the phone call. Im m I don't have a map of this area. Yeah, no fucking shit. I guess just say- list out some things, I guess, unless they're super- <laughs> Literally, what did you think was gonna fucking happen after you approached that? Bro, I feel like you're even more skittish than Vesper. Whoa, was that a compliment? I mean, take of it as you will. I should've known. Man, I need to one of these days do a game that actually gets like the adrenaline pumping. You're gonna be the one to f me. <laughs> I ain't give it a shot. I can't promise how good I'll be. My hands are so small, so that's hard to play. Well, games. I mean, if it's like a third person game, you could play on controller. True. I hate this camera angle. You played a little bit of Fatal Frame 1 and saw it stream, but you don't think you've home from that. Yeah. That's a game series I would actually like to do. Fatal Frame. But yeah. I don't think it's really that. They remade. They made remasters for a couple of them recently, and there's DLC. There's like a DLC difficulty that's like extra hard for. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, which but one it was. again, that one's not like. It was probably scary when it came out, but it's for me in the same vein of Resident Evil, where it's just like. In the same vein as. Let's use um. What's it called? The Reanimator. That's technically a horror movie, but it's not scary. Oh yeah, that movie was hilarious. It's it's not a horror movie, and it's like it's got things that you could call horror happening, but it's not scary. It's the same I feel for probably Fatal Frame, which again I haven't seen it. I've, I've seen, seen Fatal Crimson Frame 2. Butterfly. That's the only one I've seen, and I've heard that one's not that good compared to some of the other ones. And then... Crimson Butterfly is a little scary. The thing with Fatal Frame being scary is that the game plays in third person until you whip out the camera, and a lot of the gameplay involves being, like, like getting good pictures of the ghosts to get them to go away, which means being close to them, but you take damage. And some of their designs, like, when they attack, are actually really freaky, but, uh, some of them control, like, booty. But I've played <laughs> enough Silent Hill that I guess I could probably deal. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I mean, it's like, I want to find a game that's, like, scary. You have very thick skin. Oh my god, Yeah, actually, I watched- Actually, I'm, I'm thinking about this, I saw a Shudder- Ad recently for a horror movie that I think is a remake. What is it called? <sighs> There's a couple I have on my watch list. By a couple, I mean like a hundred. I don't think but, it's you know. I want to watch the sadness, but it's re it's apparently very depressing. So I'm like. I have to mentally prepare for it. God, I really don't remember what it was. Apparently the Shutter February 2023 catalog is Gretel and Hansel, The Company of Wolves, Holidays, The Blair Witch Project, The Fog, and The Wicker Man. I was- that's not the ones that I was thinking of. Sure. Bro, 
It's fine. I want to know now. Oh, Children of the Corn. Yeah, Shudder's going to have a Children of the Corn remake. No. Yes. I did not like that movie. <laughs> I was like, as soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, there's a, it's a remake for Children of the Corn. It actually looks really good, too. They've changed some characters up, though, because the little kid that leads the group is uh, a little girl instead of a little boy. But she has the same style of clothes she does, just, you know, girlish. <laughs> keep going, though. Keep. Okay. Uh, this picture, this one doesn't make my head hurt when I look at it, but I know this one. It must be. <laughs> Well, was I dame dreaming? No, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. But that nurse. I know her. Lisa. Who was so heavenly toward me in that hellish hospital room. She did get a little weird, though. Evil Dead 2. Have you seen it? Fisk? No, I'm planning on watching the series, though. I am. Evil Dead 2 is peak horror comedy in the same vein as Reanimator. That's uh, lovely to hear. That's good. Reanimator is so, like, a lot of people are not aware of it, apparently, but the, the first one, at least, is like, it's got great special effects, except for that one cat. What's up, buddy? But that one is hilarious, so I'll excuse that. Oh my. You remember the cat scene? Yes. <laughs> and then... Holy shit sounds! Noises! Ah! You can skip the first one if I just want to watch two with Fisk. <laughs> I liked Mandy. That was a good one. That one wasn't super scary, though, because it was more slasher thriller, right? Though yeah. it was It was really good. It was just... I mean, I mostly just wanted to watch it because it's a cool chainsaw versus chainsaw fight. Oh man, one of my favorite movies! Freddy versus Jason. That movie's fucking amazing. I'm gonna make the assumption that, uh... None of these doors are real. Right? Like, remember, remember Freddy vs. Jason? No. Part? No, I don't want to remember. It was so awesome. It was like... You watched horror movies when I was lying sick next to you. I don't! I need to check this out! I like to avoid touching this kind of thing if I can. It looks like there's a piece of meat or something on the ground. Oh, yeah, the, f the walls are kind of fleshy looking, huh? They kind of look like, like there's bugs running all over. That looks like pizza to me. The hand outside the window. Just grab it. Bro can't even pull you out. You were hyped when it came out? <laughs> I'm guessing that opinion might have changed after you, uh... What, Freddy vs. Jason? Yeah. Of course you were hyped when it came out, because this is fucking hilarious. <laughs> There's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. The blood dripping from it has totally filled the bucket set out below. Also, Who would do this? You... And for what? It looks like a full-out bloodletting. If you're familiar with the scene in Freddy vs. Jason where, um, where Jason walks out of the cornfield on fire, the actual actor for Jason in that movie did the stunt himself. So for like a good solid few minutes, he was just on fire on the set. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool fact. 
your older brother took you and you almost didn't get in because you were too young and he technically wasn't your guardian, but they were chill about it? Aw. Oh, that's I nice. Mean, Freddy versus Jason is like... I do think... It, I do think it's really cool that the they didn't have a double for that. That's a really dangerous stunt, though. Nowadays, you would not. There That's would not the be something like that. They would do. They would use effects. They would not actually let. You realize most of Jason's actors used to be stunt doubles. Huh. Like, what a in, funky room. In the, I think it's like 2016. They always cast a stuntman as Jason. Ah. Yeah. The one stuntman that was in the the remake of the well, it's not really a remake. It's more like a reimagining of the one Jason movie. Is it Jason? Is it two thousand eight or two thousand thirteen? It's like Friday the Thirteenth. Those movies. Um. So what do they have that? Uh, no. Movies. What the hell is that? Yeah, that Kill it. Just Kill it! Kill it! Hit it! Since everyone on the set was like, the kid, except for him, which is the Jason stunt double, or the Jason actor. Like, I'd like to be able to hear this conversation, but I kinda can't! <laughs> yeah, it's very loud. I hate these things! I want them to die! They do, like, no damage to me, but they're super annoying. Maybe you should use the, the heavy ball thing. I mean, that might be too slow. I think I'm wasting bullets. I don't think I've hit them at all. This doesn't seem like it's like a thing that's My fucking god, finally. <sighs> Friday the 2009 was the Friday the 13th reboot slash remake. My favorite thing about that movie is that multiple characters have monologues be right before they get killed. <laughs> yes. It's pretty great. Okay, well that the... enemy is the worst thing in the universe. But the, uh... One of the things that I heard about that on set, a lot of the actors were just like kind of just starting out and being in a Friday the 13th movie. 13th movie, it's not, there's a lot of 
exposing, we'll say, that happens. So, the, the actor for Jason was, like, apparently, like, a father figure to all the kid, the younger actors. Because you're always checking on them. It's the room! This is the best thing in this game. I love this room. There's little slimy snakes all over the other one. That's normal. Sure. This effect is so cool, too. I mean, I think you know how it's done, but... This is- this was like, shit, this game is actually- has some really cool stuff in it. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Ugh! Actually, that's disgusting. I can't. And now she's stopped moving. The room is normal. I just don't know where I would call that. Also, I think I took damage while I was sitting in that room. Because <laughs> the controller started to vibrate, so I was like, okay, maybe let's not hang out in here for much longer. I thought it was gonna kill you. But yeah, the sound still plays, but the effect doesn't happen anymore. There's nothing to this room besides that, though, when you go in there the first time. That's just a really fucking cool room. Mm. And now we're back out here. There's... I, I have... There's... How do I... Did I pick up anything? I think I did. Oh, my god, actually. Like... Back in the day room? Something I'm missing? I don't think I can interact with this. I think it's like I need a thing to interact with that. I need to bring a thing to that. A straw, maybe. I'm sorry, what? You need a straw. Oh, right, this elevator. Actually, wait, what floor am I on currently? I'm on the third floor. I guess we could try... Uh... Second? Second floor. Second floor works! But yeah. This, I think, is when the game, like... Because we're... We're not that much farther off from the game. I don't feel like there's a... There's like a few more places after this, but there's really not much. <laughs> you know, kind of like once you got to the... Once you got to the hotel... Uh... 
into that's kind of like yeah it's just this and then anything that happens after it's just kind of like leading up to the final final thing i remember that after this place we we go into new territory that's in silent hill that actually has a lot of really cool shit in it i at least thought it was pretty cool that mirror is that mirror thing in in the that one room is probably like one of my favorite Happy visual birthday things that this game does. To you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Oh, I forgot your name. Who are you? Oh, okay, thanks. Happy birthday, dear. Who are you? Happy birthday to Jeez. you. Jeez. Happy 31st birthday. Is this Leonard? That's the murderer's name, not my name. I'm not your beloved Stanley either. He's underground now. His new name is Number Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that now. It's time to celebrate your birthday. You've got me mistaken for someone else. Today's not my... I'm not mistaken. Today is your 24th birthday. And I have a present for you. Which do you prefer? To give pain... Or to receive it. That's an indirect way to ask if we're a sadist or a masochist. You hate the most. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. But you're wrong. It's not my birthday. That's what you're hung up about? <laughs> Not what, well, that was fucking weird. When we get there, hey, number seven, it's who are you? I want my 18th through 31st birthday presents now! <laughs> to give pain or to receive it? There's an enemy in here. Awesome. Let's see if the women's locker room is a place I can go into. Why do you want to go in the woman's locker room, Z? Sounds like something a pervert would do. What the fuck did I get? Oh, I got a plastic bag. Am I gonna fill that you... with blood? that scenario, if I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. Oh, god damn it, it's these! Ah! Monsters have timeouts, too. There's another one somewhere. Oh, there he is. Don't eat me. Die. Falls on the ground. You should have upgraded your katana. I should upgrade my katana. Where do I do that? <laughs> At the smithy. Dang it. <laughs> I might not have the materials. Because you're a pleb. That's oh, the weird wibbly wobbly effect on this is gone. Hmm. Man, I hope 
hope they realize that they're not very good at singing. At what? Singing. Oh, <laughs> it's like... What are you talking about? All right, time to go to the second floor, and if I'm correct, to be fill a as... plastic baggie with blood. <laughs> nice. It's for it's for her drug test. Or back to the third floor, actually. I think we were on the second floor. It's a good thing we killed everything in this hallway. I found what my least favorite enemy type in this game is, though. That's nice. The crawly boys. Also, this room. It's red. Mm -hmm. mm. Do you think? Okay. This is gonna be kind of weird, but stick with me, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh my so... god, I was right. Bruh. What if, like, Those meatballs, yeah. Yeah. Like, what do you think they taste like? Do you think they're actually meat? Or are they like... Or are you just tripping? I would assume that it is raw meat, yes. However, I don't think it's raw, like, animal meat. Well, whether it's people or not people meat. Because obviously it's not animal or people meat. It's like... That was a sound. It's like supernatural meat, right? Oh, hey, the heavy breathing of a nurse. Or, never mind. What was that? Oh, there is a nurse over there. Ah, you can't get to me. Dumbass. Am I gonna be able to finish today? We're really close, but also we have to go to a thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of why we're doing this. I won't be able to stream uh, at my usual time. The world is teeming with unnecessary people. It's God's decision that I fight as a knight of honor and as a protector of the seal. I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. What? Who wrote this? Some twisted individual, eh? I see this and I want to ask him. So you think one of the necessary ones. But it seems like I've heard this protector of the seal business somewhere before. Yeah. We're, like... Not that far into it, though. Like, we're- it's like, the end is in sight. Technically, yes, in a way. Oh god! The crawly thing was right there! Ah! Why is this boss just look so exactly? Okay, actually, where am I going? Oh, I'm on the first floor, that's great. Of course, I can't just uh, leave. <laughs> If only it were that easy. Ah! So, another thing I Ah! Dang, these guys are a lot, of, a lot of board games have those, like, great floors everywhere. Is what? Like, the floor that you're walking on right now. Oh, yeah, like how we're kind of walking on, like, a fence, almost. Yeah. You can read that first. Uh, yeah, Dr. Dr. Midkiff, please use extra caution with the patient in th room 312. He should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim, too. Rumor has it he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please R. Cosby. Yes, it looks like the rumor is true. According to the head nurse, I do think he's a good person otherwise, though. Easy to deal with. I'm gonna disappear again. Ah. So what I was saying about the floor thing. 
Don't you think it would be like loose to walk on? Yeah. Also, if you were a certain weight, would it you just like would... fall through. Would it hold up? I didn't spell featuring right. I'm so stupid. It's okay. <laughs> it says Silent Hill 3 Thatchering Esperant Fisk. That's it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> It's really not fine, but okay. <laughs> Why would it not be fine? We have Shakespeare weighing us down. I'm fixing it now. <laughs> and there it's fixed. So, how did you figure that out? What do you mean? How did you figure out that you spelled it wrong? Uh, I looked over and I noticed. Because <laughs> in order to do uh, polls and uh, channel points predictions, I, uh, I have to have a, a stream preview uh, open that shows the title. Okay, reception. Oh my god, there are enemies in here too. That's cool. There's not. I thought there were. It sounded like there were, but it takes a while for the fade out. Yeah, the title I the titles of my stream are long. <laughs> I don't mind that though. Doctor's Lounge. Cafeteria. It's locked! Okay, we need a key. And probably to go to a different floor. Yeah, I would assume so. Let's make a break for the elevator first, though. Hello, nurse. I'm safe in the elevator. Oh, okay. So just to be 100% sure, yeah, we don't... Wait. Second floor. Was I not able to do anything on that floor in that direction? I wonder... I want to move in a way so that way I at least have that checked out. Also, I didn't kill anything on that floor because there's way too much shit on that floor. It'd be a waste of resources yeah, I, at that point. I was like, if you want to spend an extra 30 minutes in this area, you can kill everything. Oh, okay, so this is just like a dead end. Okay, now it's marked according. Ugh. Dr. Pepper almost came out of my nose. Why? I don't know, I drank some and smelled and I felt it in my nostrils. Interesting. That's a weird noise. You're all noise. Okay, B1 doesn't work, B2 doesn't work. B3 does, though. <gasps> A puzzle. Oh. 
that it is. There's a bone here, let's see. The lark's child lost all his words and walled himself up all away. Heart and mouth both locked up tight in a cage for an unwarned stay. The kite, hot, crazy, and panting mad. Sweet shackles that tease and excite. Death itself would drive him wild. Red blood that turns milky white. Oh my god, there's momos for all of these. Okay, let me read this then. Burn the one who knows no death. You're adored by those above. No prayers within, just simple love. Okay. And now, pinning, pining hunt, the pining hunter, the flames longing for his rebirth, a distant breath within the earth. Burn up that heavy body of his, make it wind dancing in the sky, that bottomless gut now a cloud, now a sigh. The sweet blood on his laughing lips now calls him to the gates of hell. There burns evermore that soulless shell. Four bodies return to ashes, thus the door is opened. Thus the door is opened. So I'm assuming it's you, uh, choose the numbers. Yeah. Four numbers! I'm guessing you're gonna want to read this yourself. To take notes. I mean, I can't. So... Another thing. Yes, I feel like this one should hopefully be more straightforward than the previous two. I will say that the least straightforward of them all was that second one with the door, because it was just kind of immediately misleading. Uh -huh. I assume this is the third one. I assume mm -hmm. it has something to do with gluttony. And then, um, I guess, soulless shell. Four bodies are turned to ashes. Thus the door is open, thus the door is open. So let's uh, start reading these memos. Uh, the memo for four. There isn't a body on it, actually. Come on. There's a memo here, let's see. Cock Robin, who hid the key away, is ash in the oven, all right. The place he held is empty now, and the doors remain shut tight. Okay, so it's not four. Because he was the one who burned and caused it to be locked. Alright, well, this is one. Who killed Cock Robin? The sparrow, they said. He wants them all dead. To him, honey sweet is their sobbing. That's it. Just keep going through them. Um, I'm just thinking and listening at the moment. Okay. There's a memo here, let's see. The grass, the thrush so loved to eat, gave him sweet happiness. He sank ever deeper and finally fell to destruction and fatal distress. Uh, seven. He seeks out her soul by his own black ambition, frightening her out of her wits, whispering love songs into her ear. What cruel linnet wants he gets. This one is... Eight. The black rook is the praying sword who hears the gods in the skies. His whispered petitions go on without end, and glassy and dim are his eyes. Okay. Five. Lark's child lost all his words and walled himself up all away. Hard on mouth, both lock up tight, in a cage where none want to stay. That one? Again. This one, I believe, is nine? Yeah, this one's nine. Uh, the wren, with pure heart, as yet unrefined, makes us laugh with his feeble lips smacking. But still we all know he shall never grow old, and he knows not how much he is lacking. That's pretty much it. Oh, I'm pretty sure that one's the first one. Zero. The kite's hot, crazy, and panting mad, sweet shackles that tease and excite. Death itself would drive him wild, red blood that turns milky. Uh, 
six. The dove's hope died. He chose his path. His flapping wings fell still, drenched in scarlet where they lay, his cheeks pale white and chill. Uh, actually, which one is this number? Before I read the poem. Uh, two. The owl who forgot the sky, resigned to his poor earthbound state. Hungry or full didn't matter at all. He ate and he ate. So we know two of them. The last one... The thing is, the second one was like a hunter, basically. Mm -hmm. And the last one was like really evil. Yeah. And I'm I wonder if that's zero. There's zero and then there's the first one we looked at. One? Yeah. This one's again. Ah. But they're referencing Despair specifically, whether that's them or not, I don't, I don't really know. Hmm. Who would be considered the hunter? Well, it's not the thrush. Oh yeah, there's also Linnet, but I don't think Linnet is like the hunter or the really guy. He's just kind of nasty. That one doesn't sound very huntery esque. Oh. We know the Wren. Wren is the first one. I don't really see one that could be. You didn't do zero. Read zero. Oh, yes. Zero. Uh. Okay, I want to read the other hint again. Which one? You know, the, the main, the furnace one. Ah, yes. Uh, burn the one who knows no death. Pure. The Pining Hunter. The Flames Longing for His Rebirth. Burn Up That Heavy Body. Yeah, we know that one. It's The sweet blood so... on his laughing lips now calls him to the gates of hell. Air burns evermore. Soulless shell. So it's nine, eh, two, not sure if it's zero or one. I want to see the hunter one again, just to... I want you to look at a certain one. Mm -hmm. I think I have an idea. Uh, which one? I believe it is five. And that's only because of the beneath the earth part. But I, I want to look at them all again. Mm, okay. So we got six. The owl one, because that one is... Yeah, not the owl one, because we know the owl is the third. There's also rebirth mentioned. Ah, yes. I don't think it's zero. We know nine is the is the first one.
I wonder if it's this one? Or it doesn't sound like a hunter, you know? There's, they're birds, so... Yeah. Linnet. She's a songbird. Because that one could also be the last one, but I think it has to do with the laughing. That's what yeah. we need to be looking for. Whip. Then we got three. You sank ever deep. Well, that's why I'm, I'm wondering if... Because I thought at first that the thrush was one. And this one just doesn't really tell me anything. Because we know... I would, I would mm. try the rook one. That's the second. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. It's the linnet. It's pining the linnet? hunter. It's a pining hunter. Go to the linnet. Yeah. Ah! It's in a different sense. I see. So it's nine, seven, two, zero? Yeah, I would try that. I have to walk at this at a certain angle or she'll read the poem again. Just flip through. Or do you have to back out for it to... No, it's automatic. Then I think 9 is one wrong. I think 9 might be... Um... It... I feel like it has to be the... Like, back out. Because the thrush is three, I remember that. Well, look, read the thing again. This one? Yes. Who knows no death. Which is why I thought it was nine, because it was like, oh, they'll never grow old. No, this is the rook. Oh. Above and that's so why it's... his eyes are glassy. This is the rook. So that's the next eight. One is the linnet. Eight this seven. Is the linnet. Eight seven two zero. Try that. I still think zero might be wrong, but I mean it's between zero and one. So, God, please. There we go. Maybe two's wrong, then. Hmm. But at the same time, it's like he just ate and ate and ate, and it was like... I well, read that off throw... as being... What is the... What's the, thre the thrush's number? The thrush's number is three. Try that. I'm wondering if eight is wrong, then. Look at the eight. Let's look at it. Like the 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 note. Okay. Throw. Sorry, sorry. Unless you have to interact with the thing for it to unlock, or does it just automatically? Every single puzzle we've done, when you put in the code, it just goes it unlocked. So I assume it's the same here. I, that has to be. That's got to be the first one, because the ones above, and then the glassy and dim are his eyes, because he doesn't die. Hmm. I want to like, read the owl one again. I 
Okay, wait, wait, wait. Go back out of that one and go to the dove. I just remembered something. I believe the dove is right here. Hmm. Look at the thrush. I believe this one is thrush, right? Or no, this is the wren. Wait, what's the wren say? The wren is the one that we assumed was the first one because of that you assumed was the first one. Sorry. Okay. And then you said the the thrush. Thrush. It was this one. Now let me read the poem again. No prayers within. Simple. Oh. Hmm. This might be the one that we're going on. Let me take a picture of this so we don't have to keep looking at it. Okay. Do you want to take a picture of all of them? No, I don't need to take a picture of all of them because the next one I am certain we figured out. It's the only one that matches because pining hunter. Well, also. The flames want him to be reborn as something that's not, like, what he is. Yeah. And heavy body, make it wind dancing in the sky, that bottomless gut now a cloud, never sigh. And the second half of the owl's poem is what makes me think that that one's too- Yeah, I, I, I agree. So, we've got two of them. Sweet blood on his laughing lips now calls him to the gates of hell. There burns ever soul with you. Okay, I got that. I, those two, I think, are the ones we're wrong on. Yeah. I wonder if this one's the thrush. Which sounds really fucking weird, but... I don't know. Let's just try to figure out the first one. Okay. I want you to look at five again. Yeah. And then the one we thought it was. The red. I think it is red, actually. I mean, still might not be, but... But the last one... Yeah. Is it zero? Because it's like... It, that no, means... It, it, that means... I it's, just want... Is it nine, seven, two? So, didn't we flip through all of the... Oh, the yeah. Ones? So, technically... So, what was it? It was 9, 7, 2, and then we just, like, all... It didn't work. So, I think we can confirm that that one is right. Or not the one that is wrong. Right? What? The last one. Yeah. 
I guess the next bit would just be to cycle through all of them on the different ones, but I really do think two and three are correct. So, flip through the first one. I didn't mean like this, but... Sorry. <laughs> You say sorry and then keep doing it. Okay, okay, well, we, all right. We don't know what one I'm, and four are. I'm gonna assume that the last one is, like, look at the zero one again. Oh, the zero poem. Because... It says it calls him to the gates of hell. Yeah. So, I think we think zero is the last one. Yeah. And two is, two's gotta be the owl. It can't be anyone else. But I also feel like seven as the second one is correct as well. But we cycled through both of them assuming like one or the other. And it was like, I wonder if well, one of... Dove. I want to look at the rook next. Oh, man. Okay, so Looking it's... A long time. It is. Again. Sorry. And again. It's... And again. We're gonna do our best to not have to look up a thing, because I feel like this one could be beaten. It's not... It's not the book puzzle, and it's not bizarre, like, the fucking face pieces, I and then it was still I figured wrong. out the book puzzle. You did. You okay. Did. Black Rook. The Praying Sword. I think we can rule it out. I think I want to say the Ren is the right choice here. So Ren is nine, but did I wonder we if we have one and three right, but two and four we're not, like, sure on. I don't know. I want to try... Because two is, maybe if two is the run, some shit like that, even though he's hunting grass. So, what was the... It would be nine, three, two. And zero. Try one. Yeah. Okay, then do, go back to zero. Now go back to the seven, or, and then do three. Okay. Um, just flip through all of the second number. You have to do it slowly. Okay. Try flipping through it with the bottom row on one. Okay, uh, let's just do nine as the, the brook. What? Oh, eight. Do eight. And then flip through it again on the seven. Okay. 
Okay, try it with three, maybe, on the two. Okay, just look at the thing again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can you read the fourth one? Cock Robin, who hid the key away, is ash in the oven. All right. The place he held is empty now, and the doors remain shut tight. Which made me think, well... He's the reason it's locked, so I don't think four is in the solution. But, I don't know. Yeah. Because we have to have more than one of the things wrong. Yeah. I honestly think the only one with absolute 100% certainty is that the third one is the owl, which is two. Okay, well, let's rule out every single one of them. Let's go to the first one. So, number one. Number one. Said the sparrow, which I assume this is the sparrow. I really think that one would definitely be the. The. Or I don't. I guess yeah, because he's the one who is happy that. The robin is dead. But yeah, that leads into the question because I didn't actually consider this. Uh. If he killed Robin, then would he also be a hunter? He may be actually in the second spot. That would that's a good point. So maybe it's the Ren. Like maybe so it's nine one two zero. Try that. So I think we remember we think two are wrong. So just give nine one two zero a shot. Okay. Ah. I think this means nine is wrong. Do you want me to Try cycle through seven. the first one? Or seven. Mm. I don't know, bro. Do you, or should we look up a hint? I feel like any form of hint would just be telling us the answer, though. That's kind of the problem. Like, I'm gonna admit that the door puzzle sort of just told you the code before it gave you the hint, but I was so focused on just figuring out how they solved it that I forgot what their solution was. <laughs> like, I want to figure it out, but 
we also need to stop very soon because we're gonna have to go in like 40 minutes yeah i'll here i'll look it up and i'll see if they have like an explanation as to how it's solved this like Crematorium puzzle. Each course on a gurney is marked by a number ranging from zero to nine. Uh, I don't want normal. Hard. The poem will be engraved on the door. Doing, they're showing me what all the poems are. First verse in the Song of the Wren can both contain the word pure. The song also says that he shall never grow old, which means he knows no death. Thus, the first number in the code is nine. Which I figured out. The second verse. Oh. What? This carries to something that was before the room we even entered in. So, the second one is the owl. Because the second verse and the song of the owl both allude to the earth. The owl is also depicted as a hunter who is no longer able to fly. The third verse is arguably the most difficult, as there is no direct clue to which bird it refers to. It turns out that the verse is based on the song of the linnet, which is attached to Stanley's body. As the mysterious voice on the locker phone said, Stanley is number seven. Stanley's diaries are clues in relation to the third verse of the poem, as his bottomless gut refers to his bottomless hunger for love, and that heavy body of his, make it wind dancing in the sky, refers to his wish to fly from the hospital's rooftop, which is impossible because being human, his body is too heavy. That stupid fucking thing that was on the stairway to the roof was the was what's supposed to tell you what the third... The, yeah. Okay. <laughs> To be fair, I couldn't have figured that out because I don't think I was paying full attention at that point. The fourth alludes to a bird who is blood laughing on his lips, is called the Gates of Hell and Burns Evermore. The most likely candidate in this position is the Sparrow, who is the original murderer in the poem and wants everyone dead. Therefore, the final number of the code is 1. It's 9271. There was no way in hell we were gonna... Uh, we were so certain because of the 8 and 8 and 8 that the third one was the owl, but it was- I wasn't convinced. It but... was- It was the stupid fucking Stanley journals throughout the previous area. It's kind of my least favorite thing for puzzles. I know he said, oh, hint, he's number seven. And I- we completely, like, brain dead missed that i like i i distinctly remember now he said that but it didn't register in my mind what that meant and i therefore did not apply it to the puzzle however telling us that stanley is number seven just in and of itself is not enough information to go on unless you remember the the rooftop thing which by the way also since there's nothing on the rooftop if you know like if you have a good idea of where you're going, or you just happen to hit everything in the right order, you could never go up there in the first place. So it's missable. That's fine. Yeah. Not spicy, but fine. Give me the key. Cremated key. I understand it. I think it's... I mean, it's not bad. I just... It's, I've had worse puzzles, but I, it's just, you gotta be really careful when you have hints to a puzzle in a specific room in an area that is so far back we can't even backtrack to it now. Fine! Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kind of frustrated. Okay, I'm looking for a locked door. She marks it in a specific way. Uh, day room. First floor. Oh god, that's the chaos room. 
That's the room with every enemy under the sun being in it. You can't hear the word gluttony without getting the chorus to informal gluttony stuck in your head. Ah! Uh, that wasn't the- I- uh, It's just that you gotta be careful. Also, my memory retention is booty, so I wouldn't- I don't think I would've gotten that. Oh, we're on the side of this thing with the nurse. Hi, it's just you though, right? Thirty-eighth birthday. Fourteen plus seven plus seventeen is thirty-eight. Huh? But it's not my birthday. I think the weird guy is calculating the birthday. Happy birthday to you guys! Calculating the combined ages of Alessa, Cheryl, and Heather. <laughs> Ah! That was a sick dodge! You, you, that was basically saved. <laughs> There's a door back there. Okay. I have learned, but that's not a way to go. Oh, I can kick it! <laughs> cool. Can you please not be an obstacle that I can't really walk past? Can you? Oh my god, I can't walk past this guy! Please! You are loud and I do not wish to be near you. Keep the ball. Oh man. This she keeps being tripped. Okay, oh my god, that's, a place to save. We gotta... This is... We gotta- There's a stretcher here. Not just your usual stretcher, it's more like an altar of some sort. The candle's a knife and- Is that blood I smell? Did they worship that picture? Or something in the picture? Oh my god. Uh, the title is Lost Memories. One characteristic mentioned only in rare documents and dying out in the modern age is that of the ritual sacrifice. Offering prayers, pierce a man's chest with a copper stake, drench the altar in the blood which spouts red from the heart, to praise and to show loyalty- in another sacrificial rite mentioned in the same book, the victim is burned alive. 
This was a more dignified ceremony in which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to participate. Only the clergy could be sacrificed. Similar to burning at the stake, no compar comparable rite can be found in religion practice nearby. It may have some connection with the main deity being a sun god. Even though this religion extols redemption, it brings to mind a dark and cold history. But yeah, you don't think. You don't say! But... That's probably all we can do today. Probably, yeah. We spent too long on puzzles, so we just eventually had to look up anyway. Uh, that's kind of like the most upsetting part, too. Oh. Is that no matter what, we still ended up having- <laughs> we still ended up looking the answer up. And I was just here. I guess. You were our emotional support. I wasn't saying anything. That's my support. <laughs> Quiet. I didn't say you were good emotional support, it was just that you were. <laughs> Oops, I gotta get screen. I can't. I can't. Uh oh. Okay, C4. Bye. <laughs> <My. laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everyone who isn't Vesper. What? She, she didn't get her bananas, so she, her her hellos and her goodbyes aren't free. What does that mean for me? I didn't play, I'm not worth it. I mean, do you want a banana? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay, well, I have to get ready. Uh, I still think not a whole lot of stuff has been happening in this one. It, uh, yeah, mm, <laughs> it's been all right. It's definitely I I know a lot of people the first, but I definitely it's like a bell curve. <laughs> it's like one was our uh, one was pretty all right. Limitations of the time. Two was really good. I think it it had some rough spots, but it was actually like. I feel like it was paced relatively well and was interesting. You did a lot more of just, like, generic exploring, and there were a lot of places that were locked because of it, but I don't know. This one just feels... it's It feels like a combination of Rush and, like... I mean, it's not a bad thing to recycle assets and textures, but up until, like, this specific moment, we were literally in a dungeon that already existed in Silent Hill 2, and was exactly the same in structure, word for word, just slightly different in what doors were unlocked, and what puzzles had to be solved. Or the solutions for some puzzles that had to be solved. Because the door codes to those hospital rooms were a thing in 2, but the where the hint was, as well as what the solutions were, were different. Also, boss fights. I realized two, one and two had a lot of boss fights that yeah, we it just, kinda like, feels like we've been in a had. very long dungeon that's the same. Yeah. It's the same dungeon that we've the been guy, going through. The guy, the monster... Whole... Yeah. The monster that killed our dad, or, or Heather's dad, was a boss. The weird worm thing in the mall was a boss. I don't think we've really done, like, since that, there hasn't been a boss. Granted, the la that was the last thing that we did. I feel like there's, like, two dungeons between bosses. And yeah, you have the other world, or other side, or whatever, where the place that you go in gets funky and demonic. And the architecture and where you can go changes. Like, that was a thing in one. Two and three both have it. But I feel like when you switch over is a lot nicer. At least, yeah. it's, at least it's not Origins. Where you need stuff from one side in order to solve the puzzle. On the other side, so there's like a mechanic of staring at your s reflection in the mirror and that allows you to just warp between the sides. Also, the hospital is 
that I'm thinking of while describing this is absolutely fucking massive. <laughs> and its structure does not change much, <laughs> meaning, uh, like, there are 40 rooms yeah, that you yeah, can go yeah. into but per we, floor, we, but twice. I, I know, <laughs> normally we would talk about this stuff, and I, I want to talk about this stuff, but we actually have to get ready. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Holy. Just, ugh. I, I'm still having fun playing it. I like the enemy design. They're, yeah. they're cool. I feel like the puzzles are... I mean, we're playing hard puzzles, but... <laughs> We did hard puzzles on Silent Hill 2, and I feel like we did fine. I don't think we had to look up any of them. We didn't. There were times where I did ask you to look up where to direct me, though, because I The only thing I we looked up lost. was where the two coins were, and it turns out those two coins didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> this and then is directions. True. This is true. <laughs> I didn't look up how to solve the puzzle, just where the coins were, and turns out there was only two! Yeah. But I feel like, I definitely feel like the tail end of the game is when it actually really gets interesting, because I remember really liking, um... What the fuck is that place called? Uh, it's... Te it's the location that we're in in our dream at the very start of the game. The amusement park. Like, that's a dungeon in this game, I remember that. Um, I mean, they wouldn't create it and use it at the start of the game if you didn't end up going there. Yeah. So, uh, I remember that part being pretty interesting with only one really shitty chase section. Because I, I liked the haunted house other than, other than that. And I think the boss fight for that is pretty cool. I know we're about to fight a boss, actually. I, re I know the room that we're in. I'm pretty sure we're about to fight something. Yeah, but we should probably wrap this up so we can actually get ready. Yeah. A bit shorter. Uh, depending... Literally, it was almost the same length, bro. Well, I'm just... Hey, man. <laughs> we're gonna be out for a while, though, so this will probably be it for the day. It's not because I'm tired, it's because we have... ...obligations. And those obligations will take a while. Yeah. So, well, I guess see you next time? Yeah! Banana. I really want to get through this game. Uh, because we gotta, we gotta do Silent Hill 4, even though I feel like we're not gonna have as toasty, fun, fre funky fresh as a time as we did in 2. Um, and, but then that'll be all the main The Konami problem with three, is. I'm having, and I'm gonna say this really fast, is because she is a minor, I literally can't make any jokes. So I think four will probably be a better experience. Oh, yeah. But not because the game is better. We're gonna bully the shit out of Henry, and then when we, uh... Because think, we can. <laughs> I think her name is Eileen. When we meet Eileen, we're also gonna probably make fun of her and or if we're not gonna make fun of her we're gonna make fun of how he interacts with her because uh henry does some henry does some sussy stuff not like perverted sense wise but just like how not to interact with a human in the midst of a panic attack type of <laughs> stuff yeah but that's that's why it's like the only reason why I noticed were that all the dungeons look the same is because I cannot make any jokes about the actual main character. So I'm looking for one to make about... The environment? Yeah, and there it's, is I none. mean, it's, it's basically like the, the energy that you had when you kept talking about Pyramid Head, and then about, about James. <laughs> yeah. You didn't really make jokes about Maria or any of the other characters. Maria, I didn't do it about the one-year-old and about Pizza Man. Yeah, you did make... It is Eileen, yes. I anyway. remember her name. I wonder if there's a way to force unlock the sexy costumes, because I would love you guys' first introduction to the to the one character with her hands on her hips, shaking them side to side with the fucking tattoo on her ass cheek. 
<laughs> instead of what she's normally wearing. Okay, though, but, but uh, the real this time, yeah. we gotta, we have 15 minutes before we have to leave this place. Oh, shit. Alright, yeah. well, I'll, f uh, uh, let me see if I can find a raid target. You guys say your goodbyes while I do that. Bye-bye. I'm going to leave the call now so I can get ready. Oh. Bye-bye. Pog. I guess. Alright. I'm the only one left. So say goodbye to YouTube, everyone. Oh, I forgot that the buddy time does that if they're gone for long enough. Yes, farewell, YouTube.